If there was a global flood, where are all the human fossils? Remember, not everything that lives and dies becomes a fossil. There are hundreds of living fossils like coelacanth, the tuatara lizards, and the, the wallamai pine, all thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago because there are no fossils of them in supposedly more recent rocks. But they're still alive and unchanged. In a global flood, we'd expect to see a general but somewhat jumbled burial order, mm -hmm. and we do. 95% of the fossils, uh, the fossil record is bottom-dwelling sea creatures like shellfish, and 4.75% is plant matter, uh, things that couldn't escape the sediment-filled floodwaters. Right. Only one quarter of 1% are vertebrates like fish, reptiles, and mammals. Uh, these creatures could avoid the floodwaters longer depending on their mobility. And what do you think would, uh, or who do you think, would survive the longest? We would. Yes, of course. <laughs> People likely hung on to logs and anything floating until they drowned. So right. very few, if any, were fossilized. Human fossils we do find are most likely post-flood. But even if there were 10 million people at the time, all preserved and spread out through 700 million cubic kilometers of fossil-bearing rock, there'd only be one in every 70 cubic kilometers of rock. <laughs>